Hey, this is Sam Wavertron, and I'm here with the Marvel Mighty Mugs Iron Man review. Now, before we get started, I want to say that I have been wanting to purchase and review a Mighty Mug for such a long time. Um, originally, I wanted my first Mighty Mug review to be uh, Transformers Soundwave, but uh, to but I didn't feel like ordering him online. I couldn't find him in retail, so I went to Toys R Us today just to see what Toys R Us had. Saw him, so I picked him up. Uh, my original plan was if I didn't get Soundwave, I would get uh, Spider-Man, which they had at my local Walmart, but his box was all ripped up. He was out of the box and thrown around, and the little articulation that Mighty Mugs have, it was all loose and looked like his arm was about to fall off. So instead, I went to Toys R Us, picked this guy up, and I and I am extremely excited to be reviewing him today. So we're going to go ahead and set him aside and look at the packaging. Now I wanted to review the packaging because uh, Mighty Mug's packaging is so basic, but it looks really nice. Up here you have the name of the Mighty Mug, Iron Man. Over here you have a uh, right half of the figure, like a uh, image of it. And then down here one of my favorite uh, parts is, it says Mighty Mugs. You got like a little blank Mighty Mug. And down here it says, made from 100% recycled awesome. And that's that's just kind of funny to me. Down here it says ages 5 and up, which I really don't think it should be ages 5 and up because these are, it's not like a little kid would choke on, it's huge. I mean, seriously. But anyway, uh, has a little Marvel symbol on the side. At the top there's another Marvel symbol. Uh, another half of the, f the Mighty Mug, another Mighty Mug, Mighty Mug symbol, recycled from 100% awesome. Now, if you didn't notice on the front, like, the background isn't just white, it's got like these, it's kind of like a beige, like a whitish beige, or white, and it like looks beige, and then it's got like, Mighty Mugs all over the place. Anyway, on the other side, it's exactly the same. Marvel, Mighty Mug picture, Mighty Mug recycled awesome thing. And then on the back, there's a big Marvel symbol, another uh, half picture of the Mighty Mug, same design of the Mighty Mugs in the background. Then over here you have a little picture of the Mighty Mug and it says his name, Iron Man. Then right here you have a little like quote kind of thing from the uh, from the line like each line has a different thing and this one says we look good in tights and it says each little separately and, that, and uh, the ones from this line were Iron Man, Wolverine, Venom, and Spider-Man which I might get those ones but I don't know for now I just got this guy and then uh, the bottom is just barcode Marvel Mighty Mugs symbol and then the cool thing is the top is Iron Man's face. So the packaging, like I said, is very basic, but it looks really cool. Now back to the figure. So as you can see, the Mighty Mugs are very cute looking. They are very cartoony, and they look just really cool. Uh, the they got this big head with a, a classic Iron Man face with the two big slits for eyes and slit for a mouth. Uh, the yellow face with the widow's peak for the head. Uh, the rest of the head we have his little ear bolt looking things the back is just black or it's just red then you have the other ear one on the other side and you can see how like on all the detail of his body how they outlined everything in black and that really brings out the colors it looks very nice um, on the chest he has the little repulsor thing in the middle and the two bolts one here and one on the other side he has a great amount of detail on the crotch area all outlined in black uh, as well as the legs, you can see he has the uh, classic Iron Man colors. The arms and the gloves look very nice with the black all around here, as well as the back and the circles by the legs. You can definitely see the amount of detail that they put into this and the, the very nice paint that they put in. Um, the type of plastic that the Mighty Mugs are made out of, they feel really good in your hands when playing with it. Uh, like I said, it's very cartoony. You can see the type of uh, shapes that they put into it with the big circle head. It's all basically circular and rounded off with the feet being flat. 
it just looks really cool as well as feels um as well as the plastic that they made out of feels uh very nice as well for the articulation none of the mighty moves actually have um a lot of articulation uh this is the only pose you're going to get him in, but I really don't care because the Mighty Mugs just look amazing. But anyway, the head rotates 360 degrees around. The arms can go 360, but they get stopped by the head because it's so big. So yeah, they go forward all the way until they touch the head and back all the way until they touch the head. I've seen some people alter the face right here or the arm right here to make it go all the way around or they take it right here and just push really hard and it goes all the way but just in case something goes wrong I don't want to mess with it because either way to me it looks really awesome just like this so like I said not much articulation no uh, leg articulation but uh, even in this pose the Mighty Mugs just look really awesome also one thing I forgot to mention is on his left foot you have a little gold Mighty Mug symbol it's just got like an outline of a Mighty Mug and it says Mighty Mugs twice around in a circle so yeah for some size comparison, here he is uh, compared to a uh, Transformers animated deluxe Bumblebee. And the reason why I use this one a lot is because I think it's kind of uni universal. A lot of people have it. Uh, he is a little bit taller than Bumblebee compared to a Movie Masters figure. And Movie Masters and the uh, and deluxe uh, Transformers are almost the same size, but uh, in this case, he is a little bit smaller. And compared to a Transformers Legends figure, there's no contest. This figure only goes up to about right here. About where, uh, his glove line. So, yeah, the, when I first saw Mighty Mug, I thought they were really small, but now, perfect size for me. Overall, do I think you should get this guy? Well, you don't necessarily have to get this one. Uh, but I definitely think in your lifetime you should get at least one Mighty Mug. Uh, some people say they're just a giant hunk of plastic, but I have to disagree. To me, Mighty Mugs are really nice, and I think I'm going to get a lot more from now on. Uh, the reason why I say you don't necessarily have to get this one is because uh, they make Mighty Mugs in almost every Marvel thing. Uh, and they make Transformers and G.I. Joe as well. So, you know, just go find find your favorite uh, character, see if they got a Mighty Mug of them, order it online, or find it in retail, because... Mighty Mugs are really cool. Thanks for watching. This is Sam Wavertron signing out. Hey, this is Sam Wavertron. Uh, sorry I haven't put any, like, funny bloopers slash skit things at the end of, after the credits to most of my new videos. Either I forgot or I really couldn't think of anything, and I didn't have any time. Uh, but the reason why I've brought your attention to the end of this video is because I went to Toys R Us today and I'm really excited because I got this guy! Watchmen Movie Night Owl! Yes, I bought him in retail. Uh, 1699 Toys R Us, and I'm so excited. He is still in box, as you can see. He looks awesome, even like this, in box. Uh, I am gonna open him. Don't be mad if I do. Yeah, he's a collectible. I don't care. I want to open it. It's mine. Uh, yeah. So I bought him. You should be jealous. I'm gonna review him a little bit after I open him. That's all I wanted to say. Sound Wavertron signing out. Oh, I almost forgot. By the way, I am planning something really big for St. Patrick's Day. So, be ready for it. Thanks.